Hi guys, welcome to math115.com. We're working on uh, another web video today. What are we working on? We're working on Bayes' theorem and tree diagrams today. Did the board tell you that? It did. I felt it. It there. Doesn't say anything. No, but I, it, we, we talk okay. through, through touch. Well, yeah, it's going to be good. So, it's going to be watch awesome. It. Welcome to Math 115, another lesson today we're working on Bayes' Theorem. Right now on the board we have set up a traditional tree diagram that makes it easy to learn um, Bayes' Theorem. So we set up a uh, kind of, I don't know, event series here where we're going to have boys, girls, and then whether they play soccer or not. So the way you set it up is the first tree section or pairs, you have to split the space. So we are having boys and girls on these, and on each branch, we are going to put the probability of boys and the probability of girls. Because you can't have any other um, genders in there, really, these have to equal 100%. So we could say that the probability of boys is 50%, and then girls, 50%. Or we'll just write the notation. I'll go through this and talk about how it works. But so all these first branches are going to be is the probability of boy or girl or some other mutually exclusive event. Then when you move on to the second line, this line is saying that if you are given boys, so the probability of something given boys, so this is where the conditional probabilities come in, it's going to be soccer, as we stated earlier, soccer. So this is going to be the probability of soccer given boys, and then so this branch will be soccer complement boys. This branch will then be soccer complement girls. And the last one, soccer complement girls. I meant soccer girls, not complement for that one. Um, so then an easier way to think about this, because it's kind of a confusing way to look at it, is the when you go down these branches, the earlier events have already happened. So because we look at this branch, we already know that it has to be a boy. So you can say it is someone that plays soccer given they're a boy because we're already branching off of that. So now there's one more element to the Bayes theorem once you get through this whole thing. And at the end of all of these branches, you can end up mathematically finding their intersection. So the end of these, or these two multiplied together, will then come out to be the probability of soccer intersect boys, or boys intersect soccer, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, because essentially the way it works is you multiply across. I'll show the formulas for this and how it works. It's the same way as we did it in conditional um, probabilities. So working all the way through for all of them, this one would be soccer complement, right? Boys, and then soccer, oops, wrong notation. We want the intersection, girls intersection girls. So now the way this works, it comes all the way across because what we did was what we had learned earlier in conditional probabilities where you can have the probability of event B multiplied by the conditional probability of both of them, S given B, to equal the probability of the intersection of S and B. So that's how it works for every single one of them. Um, and it's really good to get this notation down and learn how to use it before you start working with numbers because it makes it a lot easier to understand what's going on. Well, that was fun.